हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अफेयर्स क्लाउड माय नेम इज विकास सो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव एन एप्लीकेशन बाय द नेम कैरियर्स क्लाउड विच यू कैन गो एंड डाउनलोड थ्रू द प्ले स्टोर एंड वंस यू हैव डाउनलोडेड यू कैन लॉग इन विद योर जीमेल आईडी एंड व्हाई आई एम सजेस्टिंग यू दिस एप्लीकेशन बिकॉज दिस इज द वन स्टॉप सोल्यूशन फॉर ऑल द करंट अफेयर दिस इज द बेस्ट ऑफ द बेस्ट एप्लीकेशन एंड द प्लेटफॉर्म वेर यू कैन एनहेंस योर लर्निंग थ्रू हेल्प here you will be provided with multiple courses here you will be provided with multiple options of quizzes and even you here you will be provided current affairs on daily basis pdfs and quizzes will be provided to you on daily basis both in hindi as well as english here you will be provided current affairs with weekly basis and monthly basis also here remember once you have done watching our video then you can log in through this application take out the pdf read that pdf and go through the quizzes that will enhance your preparation same you have to do for weekly and same you have to do for the monthly also in monthly you will be provided with the top 100 important questions pdf and video also that will enhance your learning and it will be a very benefit and beneficial and important video for the revision perspective and not just this friends apart from this we also provide you banking and economic questions we provide you state current affairs such as of uttarakhand up tripura telangana and many more not just this apart from this we also provide you topic wise current affairs and the topics that we are providing you are really important these topics are such as national affairs international affairs important days sports defense science and technology apps and web portals obviously these are the important topics that are being asked in various exams across india so these are the topics that are must and should be covered and will be beneficial for the preparation of the students hello everyone in this video we will be discussing important current affairs for the topic awards and recognition for september month the session will be quite interesting so do pay attention till the end let's start first is which of the following point is not a winner of the 65th edition of the raymond maxese award announced in october uh, in august 2023 so if we we'll look at the options all of them are winner except option 5 right this raymond maxese award remember this was the 65th edition of this award and it is a philippine based raymond max um, raymond maxese award foundation right and this was the 65th edition of this award that was presented and these are the winners ravi kanan miriam cornell ferrer Eugenio Lemos and Corivi Rakshan right mark this and this Raymond Maxese award this is regarded as the Nobel prize of Asia right and India has received a total of 59 awards while the Philippines received 65 awards making it the highest among all the countries next which of the following are correct with respect to national award for e governance that is naeg presented during the 26th national conference on e governance held in august if we look at the option option a and option c are right but option b is wrong b is saying that odisha government received a gold award in the government process reengineering for digital transformation category 1 for shram vehicles facilitation system is it so no remember the gold award was received by West Bengal government. Now the option B becomes right. A is saying that NAFIS team of National Crime Records Bureau they won the gold award under the excellence in the government process reengineering for digital transformation category one. Absolutely right. And Swamita that is survey of villages, abadi and mapping with improvised technology in village areas. This scheme of the Ministry of Panchayati Raj received the gold award in the application of emerging technologies for providing citizen centric services in category two. So absolutely right. Next, who has been recently honored with the World Innovation Award at the BRICS Innovation Forum held in Moscow, Russia? So, Shanta Thotam, right? Telangana's first Chief Innovation Officer, Shanta Thotam, was honored with the World Innovation Award at the first BRICS Innovation Forum. And this first BRICS Innovation Forum, where was this held? This was held in Moscow, Russia, right? The Cloud City concept was the core topic of the. forum white cloud city was the core topic of this forum of this brics innovation forum that was the first brics innovation forum that was held in moscow russia and shanta thotam the first women first women chief innovation officer shanta thotam has been honored with this 
first edition of the BRICS innovation uh, or uh, was honored with the World Innovation Award during this first BRICS innovation forum. Correct. Next, this award is given to honor the leaders from various developing countries who have made personal contribution for the achievement of sustainable development goals. Next, which of the following personalities has recently rated A plus in the Global Finance Central Banker Report Card 2023 by Global Finance Magazine? So remember, RBI Governor Shakti Kant Das, right? He is the Governor of RBI of India, that is Reserve Bank of India, and he was rated A plus in the Global Finance Central Banker Report Card for 2023. Correct? Mark this. Next, which railway station has recently certified as the Green Railway Station with the highest rating of platinum by IGBC, that is Indian Green Building Council, Confederation of Indian Industry? So, which is that railway station that was declared as your or certified as the Green Railway Station? It is Vijayawada Railway Station, right? And the rating was presented under IGBC, that is Indian Green Building Council's CII. Correct, and this becomes the second railway station under the South Railway, uh, South Central Railway Zone to bag this platinum rating. Correct, after Sikandrabad Railway Station that is in Telangana. Next, and remember, question can also be asked that this green railway station rating or uh, certificate is valid for how many years? It is valid for the next three years. Next, which of the following are correct with respect to Swachh Vayu Sarvekshan 2023 award presented by the Union Minister Bupendri Yadav, who comes from the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change in August. If we look at the options, all these three options are rightly mentioned. Indore Madhya Pradesh secured the first rank followed by Agra of UP and Thane of Maharashtra in the second and third place respectively. Absolutely right. Amravati of Maharashtra, they back the top rank followed by Moradabad of UP and Gunter of Andhra Pradesh in 2nd and 3rd. Absolutely right. And Parvano of Himachal Pradesh backed the top rank followed by Kala, Kalam of Himachal Pradesh and Angul of Odisha in the 2nd and 3rd place respectively. So all are correct. Yes, absolutely. All these options are rightly mentioned. Correct. Next thing, remember this was a 2nd edition of the Swachh Vayu Sarvekshan that took place in 2020. Three. Correct. Here we are talking about category one, right here category two, and this is for category three for better understanding. Right. These are the awards and these are the cities and their respective states along with their categories. Next. Next is which of the following are correct with respect to Shanti Shwaru Bhatnagar Award for Science and Technology announced in September. So all of these options are rightly mentioned here. CSIR Director General N. Kalashvi announced Shanti Swarup Bhatnagar Awards for Science and Technology to be distributed to 12 young individual scientists across India. So absolutely right. Remember this number. Next is Dipyaman Ganguly won the award in the medical science category. Absolutely right. Take a note of this. And this is for the clinical and transitional COVID-19 research, including an RCT that is randomized control trial. So absolutely right. C is Ashwini Kumar has won the award under the biological science category for biofilm induced infections in tuberculosis. So absolutely right. Ashwini Kumar won this award for the biological science category. So all these three options are rightly mentioned. Next, according to the global leader approval rating tracker survey released by Morning Consult in September, who has been named the most popular global world leader with an approval rating of 76%. So who he will be, tell me. Who is the most popular global world leader with an approval rating of 76%? He will be the Prime Minister of our India, Narendra Modi. Correct? And remember, he here has the approval rating of 76%, that is the highest in the world. Right? Out of 100, 76% gave them approval. 18% disapproval and 5% did not give an opinion. Also remember, previously also in 2021 and 2022, Prime Minister Narendra Modi topped the list of the most popular global leader. Name the personality from India along with his team member who has recently won 2023 IG Nobel Peace Prize under the Mechanical Engineering category. So Anoop Rajapan. Right. So 2023 IG Nobel Prize was awarded at the 33rd 
first annual IG Nobel Prize ceremony. This was on 14th of September. And this IG Nobel Prize is the prize for the humorous scientific feats and aims to honor the achievements that first make people laugh and later on make them think about their achievements. Right? I repeat, this IG award is given to or basically is given to honor the achievements of an individual at first and later on make people think about those individual contributions. So Anoop Rajapan has recently been awarded with the 2023 IG Nobel Peace or Nobel Prize. Correct. Next, how many artists have received the Sangeet Natak Academy Amrit Award 2022 from the Vice President of India Jagdeep Dhankar? So a total of 84 artists received this Sangeet Natak Academy Amrit Award 2023 from the Vice President of India Jagdeep Dhankar in September. Correct. This award is was constituted to honor Indian artists who are aged above 75 years of age and who have not been accorded any national honor in their career so far. So out of 84, 70 were men and 14 were women. Next, National Medical Commission of India was awarded the recognition status by World Federation for Medical Education for a period of dash years with immediate effect. So. National Medical Commission of India was awarded the recognition status by the World Federation for Medical Education for a period of 10 years with immediate effect. As a part of this recognition, all the existing 706 existing medical colleges in India will become World Education or World Federation for Medical Education accredited and even the international students will now be able to come and take part in these institutions. So right option here becomes third. Even Indian students will be able to go and do their practice outside India. Next, which of the following points are correct with respect to the Raj Bhasha Kirti Puraska 2023? If we look at the options, option A and option B are right. C is wrong. First look at option A, Department of Pension and Pensioners welfare has been recognized as the best performing department in the category of ministries department with less than 300 employees for the second consecutive year absolutely right b option cag awarded for the cag that is controller and auditor general of india awarded for outstanding implementation of official language policy in the ministry department category with more than 300 personnel for the year 22 23 absolutely right and third is your Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited has been conferred with the Raj Bhasha Kirti Puraskar that is the third position in the category of public sector undertaking in region A for the year 22-23. Is it correct? No, this is not HPCL but it will be Power Finance Corporation, PFC, right? They have been conferred with the Raj Bhasha Kirti Puraskar in the category A or A category for the year 22-23 and PFC secured the third position in the category of public sector undertaking, right? And this Raj Bhasha Kirti Puraskar, this is the most prestigious award offered by the Indian government for the achievements in implementing the official language. Next, in September, India won the bid to host 17th International Congress on the Chemistry of Cement in Dash year in New Delhi. So remember, recently, India won the bid to host the 17th International Congress on the Chemistry of Cement in the year 2027 that will be held in New Delhi. Apart from India, other bidders were Switzerland and UAE, but India won the bid here. Next, which of the following villages has been selected as the best tourism village of India 2023 by the Ministry of Tourism? So remember, two villages, Kriteshwari and Vishwanath Ghat, they both has been selected as the Best Tourism Villages of India 2023 by the Ministry of Tourism. Kriteshwari is in West Bengal and Vishwanath Ghat it is in Assam. Next. So here right option becomes option 1 and 2. Next. Name the personality who has recently became the third Indian scientist to receive Norman E. Borlaug Award in the field research and application. So Swati Nayak. Right. Swati Nayak that is an Indian scientist has been named as the 2023 recipient of the Norman E. Borlaug Award for field research and application and she became the third Indian and first Odia 
scientist to receive the award in field research and application and she is fondly called by the name bihana didi that is seed lady in odisha and she was awarded with this norman e borlock award and this award is given in the field for research and application and it is given by rockefeller foundation next as of september 2023 wahida rahman will be conferred with the dash dada sahib phalke award for the year 2021 so she will be awarded with the 53rd edition of the dada sahib phalke award for the year 2021 she will become the 8th female artist to be awarded with this dada sahib phalke award and this award will be presented to her during the 69th national film awards ceremony she was honored with padma shri in 1972 Padma Bhushan in 2011 right next how many eminent scientists received shanti swarup bhatnagar award for science and technology from the union ministry of state of science and technology jitendra singh on the 82nd foundation day of csir that was on 26th of september so how many individuals a total of 12 scientists received this shanti swarup bhatnagar award for science and technology it was awarded to them by jitendra singh and it was during the 82nd foundation day 82nd foundation day of csir that was on 26th of september right next as per canter brands as per the canter brands top 75 most valuable Indian brands report conducted by wire and plastic products in September dash company retained their top position as the India's most valuable brand for the second consecutive year it is TCS that is your Tata consultancy service right as per the data released by Cantor brands of top 75 most valuable Indian brands report this report released by wire and plastic products remember in this it is tcs that has retained the top position as the most valuable brand for the second consecutive year if we talk about the top 75 most valuable brand they have a combined valuation of 379 billion dollar right then on first it is tcs on second it is hdfc and on third it will be your infosys next so friends these were your important current affairs for the topic awards of september month right if you find the session interesting do like the video and comment below let's move to some other revision current affairs they will be very beneficial for your learning which organization recently released the report 2024 asia pacific human development report making our future new directions for human development in asia and the pacific with key highlighting that india is among the top countries with high income and highest wealth inequality despite rapid economic growth which is it it is united nation development program right and it states that india is among the top countries with high income and the highest wealth inequality despite all the growth that we are seeing here also in this report it state if we talk about the income growth right income growth in india it was the data between 2000 to 2022 and we have seen an increase in india's per capita income from 442 dollars to 2389 dollars right then we also saw a reduction in poverty between 2004 to 2019 and in this reduction we saw that the poverty dropped from 40% to just 10 percent next which country has recently signed an mou with india for corporation on medical products regulation to enhance the quality of medical products which is it it is netherlands right netherland is the country that recently signed memorandum of understanding with india for the promotion of medical products regulation and to enhance the quality of the medical products that are being manufactured in india and supply to between these two countries then apart from this tell me who has appointed or who has been appointed as managing director of torrent gas manoj jain has been appointed as the managing director of torrent gas then apart from this tell me where was the 37th national games held goa 
and which state has stopped in the medal tally of these national games it is maharashtra right maharashtra then in these national games who won two gold medals two gold medals were won by dipika kumari dipika kumari now you tell me dipika kumari is related to which sport this is your homework question right don't just give me the name of the sport but give me a full line that uh, two gold medals that were won by dipika kumari she is related to dash sport then apart from this who won brazilian grand prix brazilian grand prix were won by max verstappen and now remember max verstappen has won 18 out of 20 grand prix that were held in 2023 and this is a record in itself next according to the data from association of mutual fund in india released in november which state emerged as the leader in mutual fund investment in india during july september quarter fiscal year 2024 so remember according to the data from amfi which state emerged as the leader in the mutual fund investment in india it is maharashtra right maharashtra is top in terms of the investment in mutual fund and remember with a substantial equity asset of 7.47 lakh crore investment coming from maharashtra out of the total of 25.85 lakh crore then maharashtra was on top followed by gujarat on second karnataka on third respectively right and delhi comes on the fourth position next which organization has collaborated with united nations to create a new stamp collection and first day envelopes to honor Mary Curie on her 120th birth anniversary observed on 7th of November 2023 so which organization has collaborated with UN to create a new stamp collection and first day envelopes to honor Mary Curie so uh, that organization is IAEA that is International Atomic Energy Agency IE IAEA right they collaborated to create a new stamp collection and the first lady envelopes and it was to honor mary curie who was mary curie she was a very famous scientist right and remember she also discovered the radiation because of which she also died she was also the first woman and first woman or first person to be awarded with nobel prize in chemistry as well as nobel prize in physics correct mark this and remember her birthday is observed on 7th of november and this year in 2023 it was 120th birth anniversary of madam curie next name the bank that recently collaborated with national payment corporation of india limited to launch the platinum rupee credit card so this bank that has partnered with npci national payment corporation of india to launch platinum rupee credit card is your in the send bank right mark this right this will enable the customers to make payments through the rupee network using point of sale devices and on e-commerce websites the next thing tell me recently if we talk about inclusiveness index inclusiveness index what is the rank of india in this inclusiveness index india stands at 117 out of 129 nations and who secured the first position it is new zealand that secured the top position then apart from this tell me how many gst seva kendras was inaugurated or launched by nirmala sitaraman ma'am so a total of 12 gst seva kendras were launched where in gujarat that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the youtube channel as well as apart from youtube channel you can go and follow us at affairs cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 76773362 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support@affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue 